Today I'm going to show you how to make this a wavy text effect here in Illustrator. Select the type tool and I'm going to select the Archivo Extra Condense Bold. And I'm going to put this here, press and hold out, drag it down to create a new copy. Let's go to the effects. Let's go to warp and select a wave. From here, all you need to do is switch from horizontal to vertical and you can increase the bend to bend it to the left side or you can bend it to the right side, however you like. I'm going to push it all the way to somewhere around 60. Click OK. Now let's select both of the text. Let's go to the object, blend, click on make and you can increase or decrease the number of the copies by double clicking here on the blend. Select specify steps and I'm going to decrease it to three. Click OK. And I'm going to select the selection tool, double click on the first text. So it's going to highlight, select it. And I'm going to drag it down, also press shift. And this way it's going to connect nicely. You also can add shading if you will. Select the rectangle, make sure that you're on the fill. I'm going to create a rectangle right here. Click on the gradient, activate the gradient. I'm going to type into the angle 90 degrees. And I'm going to bring the black in the middle. Select the white, press and hold Alt to create another copy and drag it into the opposite direction like this. Now we're going to go to the properties. Let's go to the opacity and change it from normal to multiply. And I'm going to select the selection tool and position the gradient in these areas where basically I'm going to put the shadow. As you can see, it's too narrow, this shadow area. So I'm going to bring these diamonds all the way here to the right and to the left. So it's going to spread a little bit more. I also can make the rectangle more wider, press and hold Alt and it's going to create it more wide. And I also going to decrease the opacity some around 73 ish and adjust the diamonds a little bit more. And I'm going to press and hold Alt, create another copy and drag it here. I also might compress it a little bit more and create another copy and maybe another one on the top. And you might add another one here at the bottom just to make it more consistent. And there you go. And this is how I make this simple text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.